these are some of the satellites, some, because there are several, uh, just to give you an idea. Uh, uh, so we see here uh, the one that we use most is Landsat 8, which has 30 meter multispectral. So when, you, when we say, you know what we're talking about when we say multispectral now, you have, they are measuring uh, those wavelengths in different bands. And 50 meter panchromatic, which reflects, refers to black and white. So that is the um, um, the spatial resolution, 15 and 30 meters. A number of bands, they're capturing nine bands with a swath width of 985 kilometers. Very high, mid, low resolution, but very wide capture. And the temporary resolution is every 16 days, it's fixed. Now. This is public domain. You can download this image. You can process it. Uh, what GeoAgroAfrica does is just make it uh, automatic and, and much faster because otherwise it would be very, very difficult to use and other service providers, of course. Uh, now, if you're going to use uh, commercial imagery, you're going to get um, much higher resolution like Iconos, Spot 67, RapidEye in the 1 meter to 5 meter range, and then you can control more of the satellite. But the uh, the issue with this is that it's very expensive for one farmer. Uh, in order to use this, we should have, uh, let's say, 10,000 hectares of uh, 500 farmers, or maybe less, or 100 farmers, or 10 farmers, which is a lot of land. Uh, but we need to have a large area in order to make this affordable. The two uh, New kids on the block, it's uh, UAVs, which have been around for the last couple of years. It's evolving very quickly. Uh, the advantage is uh, very high resolution, and you can use it anytime. The disadvantage, as you can see, as you can see, is costs uh, and operation logistics. But that's a technology in evolution, and we'll see more and more. And something we're very excited about is uh, nanosatellites. We'll see this in more detail. There are a number of companies. Um, uh, from the U.S., there's one in Argentina that we know of uh, that are working uh, with nanosatellites. One of them, uh, Planet Labs, the impressive thing is that uh, they are they have reduced greatly the the size of the satellites they are producing at large scale. They are launching satellites in the tens or hundreds, and this will allow them to cover daily or two days revisit with uh, very high resolution for agricultural purpose in the term in the in the around 3.7 meters. So those will have the traditional satellites, the public domain, the commercial, the UAVs, and the nanosatellites. That's, that's, those are the options that we'll have in the, in the near future. 